Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it's been a crazy busy day. Um, first off, Alexa, turn on cubby light. Love it. Um, I've started working on this diamond painting again. I finished this section um, last night. Then I just stopped. Uh, we were gone quite a while uh, last night and it was just a really long night. Um, but I just finished off this section that I had started before Ella dumped off my diamonds and then I'm just going to continue up like I normally would. Um, it was up there. So <clears throat> that's what I've been working on at night. Alexa, turn off cubby light. Um, and then two nights ago, um, I went through a lot of these are going to be donated, um, except for this guy we got when I was pregnant with Ella. Um, and a lot of these toys are either going to be thrown away or donated. I'm still unsure about her Peppa house. She doesn't really play with it, but I don't know. Um, and then all of these are going to be donated um, except those books are going to be thrown away because they have crayon or they're ripped or a little bit of all. Um, I'm still unsure about this one. I think I may end up donating it as well. I'm um, just kind of cleaned out her toys, got ready for the, you know, summer and also just for her birthday coming up in a few short months. Um, I've got these in here because the container that they were in was just too small all of her books are down there i put all of her play food in here she's back here causing a ruckus but i put all of her play food in here so that she can easily access it and i moved all of her little people vehicles so she can easily access those too because those were down here and she doesn't quite understand to pull the drawer out so um ella you gotta chill girlfriend you gotta chill huh all right, hold on. Um, and then I just need to finish organizing my stuff and bag up all of this stuff. Um, but I did get these tassels all organized by color. Um, so you've got all of these ones up here. You guys can see. Um, and then down here, you have all of these ones as well. So there's 50 different colors five of each tassel. Um, there's 250 tassels total. Um, my table is atrocious at the moment. Um, and then also real quick, I ended up picking up two more spray paints yesterday while we were out shopping. Um, one is this like dark navy blue color. And then I also picked out this fluorescent yellow color as well so those are some new spray paint colors that I've picked out um, get out of the bathroom what what do you want in the bathroom ouch honey there's nothing up here for you okay use that that's fine I don't know um, I've got soot all over my face from burning boxes um, and then I'll talk to you guys more in a minute about what we did yesterday and why I didn't vlog and all kinds of other stuff okay so if you guys notice my eyelid twitching please ignore it it's been twitching for like the last four days and I have no idea why <laughs> um, but, so like I said, we just burned a whole bunch of stuff last night, or yesterday. We went out on a family day. Um, we were gone all day, had tons of things going, slash, you know, buying. Um, went out to eat, went, did some more shopping. So, the first thing we did yesterday, what did we do? the heck did we oh we went to the cheese house in Newcastle um, they have this really bomb bread they usually have pumpkin zucchini and banana bread 
And you guys, I go ham on their zucchini bread. It's so good. The loaves are small, but the bread's nice and moist. It's only like $1.50 per loaf, which is a little bit more pricey, but it's so good. It's so worth it. Um, I got there, and mind you, I haven't been there in over two and a half years. I think Ella was just a little infant last time we went. Um, and they were sold out. They said that the baker wasn't feeling well, and so he had a short week that week, and they were running low on baked goods. So, that kind of sucks. I hope the guy feels better so I can get some more bread. Um, it sounded really selfish, but... Um, then we went down to this place called Playthings, etc. Um, down in Butler area. I see that this building all the time when we go by to go to Sam's Club down in Butler. And they have, the, the building is always so cool looking. It kind of looks like a retro, like, spaceship. It's awesome looking. And I've always wanted to stop but we've just always had prior things going. <sighs> um, and so we've just never went in there. Um, but I convinced Tim to go in. He's like, yeah, sure, you know, you see it all the time and he sees it too and it's just something I've wanted to go into. Um, and we did some damage there. It was like just under $100, I think. Um, I think it was like 94 something, so it was a little expensive, but we got a bunch of stuff. So I got her and ended up getting her three of these different wooden puzzles. Um, this one I'm going to give to her now. It's got a pig, sheep, duck, horse, cow, chicken. Is that it? Yeah. Um, so it's got these. Um, and then in this bird, or yeah, this bird, this bag from Firebirds. Um, that's where we went to have lunch yesterday. Um, I have a few more puzzles and something else hidden away so that she's not seeing them because they're just going to be put away for her birthday. Um, there's this puzzle which has a dog, a horse, a, po a poodle, um, a turtle, another dog, a bunny, a cat, and another cat. Um, little chunky puzzle pets is what that one's called. Um, this one was $9.99. The other one I just showed you was $7.99. And then I think this one was also $7.99. Nope, $7.98 for some reason. But it's got a giraffe, a zebra, a lion, a rhino, a hippo, um, an alligator or a crocodile. I really don't know. Um, and an elephant. Um, and then she has another one of these out now. It's like a princess theme. But they're called water well and you just fill this up with water and it's like a little paintbrush um, and they can paint the pages and then the pages dry and you can just keep repainting them but this one is numbers um, so this is going to be for her birthday and both of these were $5.99 each <clears throat> Um, and then we went to Lowe's. Uh, we've been looking at bathtubs. We're going to install a bathtub instead of the walk-in shower that we have. Um, so we went in to look at bathtubs. And then we're also going to get a garbage disposal because we've been eating a lot more eggs. Um, and the eggshells have been stinking up our garbage because we only take our garbage out once a week. Um, every Tuesday we take our garbage out. So we... Uh, we would just we wanted a garbage disposal so that we can kind of just dispose of the eggshells um, and stuff like that. So we ended up getting this there. It's a sw sink top switch um, instead of like a light switch type thing. Um, we're gonna mount this somewhere on our sink and it will turn on the garbage disposal. We ordered the garbage disposal on Amazon. It was just cheaper to get a better one on Amazon. Um, Tim also got some shims. I don't know why he got a pack of 24 of shims. I have no idea why though. Um, let's see. We also got two of these light bulbs. I don't know why. I think he got one for her room. Um, or I think maybe the porch so that we can change them with the seasons. I think. 
Um, and then we got an out switch or light switch with an outlet. And then we've also got this dual light switch. I think he wants to put the one here um, instead of an actual outlet. I think he wants to put like the outlet switch here. So that this light, we have a motion sensor light right now. Like if I go closer, it'll turn on. I think he wants to make it so it's on a switch so that we can turn it on and off as we please. Um, this we got from the Playthings Etc. too. It's a mama and baby kangaroo jack in the box. Um, so it had a baby in here. I don't know what she did with it though. Um, it's a little finger puppet baby. This thing was $20, you guys. That is just crazy to me. Um, then some other things that we got at Miller or at the Cheese House. I think Tim's outside staining her um, swing set. So I'll show you guys all that stuff real quick. Um, in a little bit. But Tim got this flying machine airplane. I don't know why. He is weird. Who's that? Is that Tim? Oh, it's the other Tim. Okay, I didn't know he was coming. Uh, we got this chocolate chimp organics cereal. Some chocolate animal crackers. And then Walker High Highlander shortbread cookies. Um, got these garlic breadsticks. Tim got these from the ground up cauliflower and butternut squash, like Cheez It crackers. And then we got these muffin mixes. I thought they were pretty cool. Um, so this one is a s'mores muffin mix, and it comes in these little bags. This one is orange poppy seed. And then this one is cookies and cream. So we got all of those. Um, I'm going to take Ella out so she can see her Uncle Tim because the girl loves her Uncle Tim. Um, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. All right. So it's a couple of hours later. Our friend stayed over for a little bit. Mainly <clears throat> talked with Tim, but you know, that's whatever. Um... <clears throat> I had gotten chicken out of his cage and put him in his ball and let him run around Ella's room for a little bit. Um, she wasn't in here, um, but I ended up just cleaning his cage completely and had to put more bedding in. Um, <clears throat> he had it, like I only put about an inch in the bottom, um, so there wasn't a whole lot in there. Um, and he had it all pulled up into the corners behind his house here and behind his wheel and there was like the the green base was showing like almost the entire way across here so I had to add that um but Ella got this yesterday at that place playthings etc store um it's a little whirlpool lamp it's like a lava lamp but it doesn't get you know hot it just a motor type thing spins um it makes the glitter go all over and it changes colors the glitter eventually gets all the way up to the top. It's just, you know, got to boot up and get up there. But there you go. Now it's all the way up there. Um, so, yeah, we just, just we got that for her so that we could keep it in here. We have it on batteries. Um, it doesn't actually plug in. So um, we turn it on at night for her as, like, a form of a night light. Um, I actually need to go clean up the floor because chicken peed on the floor out here. Um, because I was showing him to our friend before he left, um, while he was in the ball and he just peed everywhere, which, I mean, hamsters do that. Um, so I gotta clean that up real quick. Okay. Tim's still out there. Um, I'm not entirely sure what he's doing. He has her swing torn apart, so. Um, 
his, I guess, overall game plan is to restain it, but I don't think it's gonna work. Um, it looks like crap right now because he pressure washed it, but. The TV is so loud. She's over there playing with her watercolor thing. So. You are so loud. All right, but yeah. So I'm gonna sit down, color with her for a little bit. Um, but TM, T T Tim made me this keychain holder um, that's on a spinnable base. Um, he just needs to print more of the hooks to go all the way around this. Oh, excuse me, this layer, this layer, and this layer. And then we will have a fourth layer too. And this is to display my keychains um, <clears throat> at the craft show. And if this tends to get like knocked over a little, whatever, um, I'm just going to put some Velcro on the bottom of it in like two or three spaces and Velcro it down. But yeah, I like it. And then I'm going to see if he can print like, because the file he got just came with this stuff here. Um, it didn't actually come with this spot for the bearing or the base. Um, so I'm going to see if he can print another one of these things, like the hexagon pieces that will fit into the top layer um, and bring it up with a loop so that I can, like, they can use that to turn it or whatever um, instead of going like this, you know? So I'm going to see if he can do that. He probably can. But I'm going to get over there and color with her and just kind of relax for the rest of the day. So 